Hey guys, good morning. Uh, I thought I'd come and do my end of August empties basket as it is full. This morning has been so crazy. Got all my kids off to school. Um, I need to go do the big shop. I am so sore. I went and worked out like heavy lifting for the first time in about six months, COVID, you know. But I am a heavy lifter and I love to work out and I haven't been able to besides CPR at work and running stairs <laughs> and stuff like that. Um, so I'm so sore. So if you see like weird arm movements, it's because my triceps have never hurt more in my life. So um, let's get started. This is the third time I've tried to record this. I had to go through and make a ton of room on my phone uh, to make some of these videos. I'm trying to figure out another way because like nice cameras cost so much money. My husband was like, maybe we'll just get a camera for the computer and try it that way. We'll see. Um, but anyways, on to the empties. Thank you for coming and listening to me gab. <laughs> if you're interested in my empties here. Um, oh, I just made real quick. So I had to choose just financially between some different pre-orders for the fall. Even though I'm not supposed to be buying any more fall wax. Uh, but of course I did because that's what we do. Um, so I had to choose between Sassy Girl Aroma and VCS. Those are the two I wanted um, the most. Well, I already did a Rose Girls haul, but they were mostly refills on my mini melters. Anyway, um, I chose VCS. I don't know if you guys know, but she has a new formula and it's so good. Her new formula is so good. It outperforms her old formula by more than double. I'm not kidding. Um, so... It just, her pre-order just started today. So uh, Sassy Girls also starts today. I think it's 1 p.m. Central Time. And VCS is going right now. And I believe they're both going for two to three days-ish. Um, and both said they would close depending on, obviously, how many orders they had. So I always try to get mine in early. And then I tell myself, do not go back and look at the list again because I'll want to go back in. And I can't. So I'm at my wax max for the month. And really, I shouldn't buy any more fall wax because I have enough fall wax to melt for like three years. So, okay, empties. Let's go. So I have two soaps. Um, my first one here is Bath & Body Works Raspberry Tangerine. This was such a fun summery scent. It is so juicy and so like, there's a freshness to it that almost makes me feel like I'm drinking a very fresh tropical drink at the beach. Like this is so good. I would absolutely wear this um, in a body spray or something. This almost smells like in high school, like the end of my high school years was the beginning. I'm trying to remember, but do you guys remember Mango Mandarin from Bath and Body Works? This smells a lot like that. I don't feel like I get a lot of raspberry, um, but I definitely get like citrus. This this actually smells a lot like mango mandarin. That was an amazing scent. I know it comes back with their classics sometimes. It's really good. Really tangy and juicy. And that scent lasted on my hands quite a bit. Okay, next soap, the formula that I am in love with. This formula, I think they should change all of their gentle foaming hand soaps to. It's creamier, it's softer, it's easier on the skin. This is the formula, and I only saw it at semi-annual sale in two different scents. This one's in the blackberries and basil. This one, you guys, oh my gosh. Both scents that I bought that this came in are amazing. They're amazing. Ugh, it is like a tart, juicy blackberry mixed with a soapy, like a clean soapy scent. I don't smell straight up basil, but it smells really good. My kids think this smells so good. I love it. I think I bought two or three of these and we're already through them. This formula, Bath and Body Works, re, not that you listen to me, but redo your gentle foaming hand soap in this formula for all of them. Amazing. Really, really good. Uh, another uh, Body care here. I have the empty body cream from Bath and Body Works in the sea salt and lavender. I love, ooh, love this packaging. Those little pieces of coral and like sea stars and stuff like that. Um, so this is a really good scent, um, especially for Bath and Body Works. I felt like this was kind of unique. It's almost like a dry, fluffy lavender, but not herbal, but not sweet either. But it's definitely lavender. And there is a salty component, like a sea salt component, but it doesn't smell aquatic at all. It's more dry. It's hard to explain. Like a dry, fluffy 
lavender, salted lavender. Uh, every time I put this on, my son would beg to wear it too. And of course I let him. Um, he was just like, mom, you smell so good. And he'd always come give me a hug. And um, this is a love. This is not very strong, which is okay for me because I put this on after my shower before bed. And I don't, I put fresh wax in before I go to bed because I love smelling something as I go to sleep. And I don't, excuse me, just burp on video here. Um, I don't want what I, my body care to be competing with the wax that's melting in my house. So this was perfect, um, perfect strength. Really, really good. I would get that again. Okay, so I think everything else here is wax. Okay, so this first one here is small batch wax, batch number six, which is fresh strawberries, peeps cake, cake bake, and iced cookies. This was just okay. Um, I had said in my haul that this was probably my least favorite. I don't like the strawberry that she picked in this. I can definitely smell the peeps, like that marshmallowy kind of scent and a cake. Um, I just, this type of fresh strawberries, um, some other vendors have this one too. You guys know I love my Rose Girls, but her fresh pick strawberry, mm -mm. it's the chapsticky strawberry to me. I love her strawberry shortcake the best and then her strawberry jam. Really, those are really good. Um, but this is kind of like that chapsticky strawberry to me. Um, not my favorite. It was about a six out of 10. Not a repurchase for me on batch number six there. Okay, Rose Girls, speaking of, <laughs> mango sorbet. This was one of my waxes that I bought from her probably about a year ago. I love her mango sorbet. It is the same oil that other vendors use, but in her formula in my house, it just threw so much better. And I just got more facets of the oil with her wax, more of the tanginess and the creaminess and the juiciness. And mango sorbet to me also has like a coolness to it. And with in this um, wax formula, because I've had that oil in other wax formulas, um, in this wax formula, I just get all of those facets and it's very strong. And this was like a seven to eight out of 10. Another Rose Girls tea and cakes. Love me some tea and cakes. Ugh, and Rose Girls tea and cakes is so good. I mean, the oil is the same almost everywhere you get it. But again, in her oil, this was a 10 out of 10. This could last for two days, one piece of it. Um, oh, it's so good. Man, tea and cakes is so good. I could just smell it every freaking day. Um, it's fruity with a little bit of bakery. It's bright. It's warm. It's like everything wrapped into one. Very guest friendly. It's so good. Like even though it's 10 out of 10 and can be, it's one of those ones that is so strong, but would never give anyone a headache. I don't think. Um, not in my house. I don't believe. Ugh, absolutely would get that again. And I've gotten it again. She also has a scent called Tea and Crumpets. And it's her tea and cake mixed with white cake, I believe. And it's really good. I've gone through a bag of that too. Okay, Rainbow Melt Snuggle Island. I got this large melt from her um, as like a thank you for waiting so long on my customs, which that's okay. It was totally fine. You guys, this is so good. So I do love Snuggle. So Snuggle Island is Snuggle Laundry and Seaside Cotton. I love Snuggle Laundry. Don't get me wrong, but Seaside Cotton is a whole nother like planet for me. I freaking love seaside cotton. Um, so this smells like Bath and Bite Works Sea Island cotton. Is that what it was? When that scent came out, I remember I loved it so much and none of my friends did. I was just always a freshie and almost all my other friends like sweet or like really fruity scents. Sea Island Cotton was freaking so amazing. That one and Cotton Blossom. Those two were my jam. And my one fruity one that I loved was um, Pear Berry. Those were my, those were my Bath and Body Works scents. This was so good, you guys. This was a 9 to 10 out of 10. I would absolutely buy this again. Uh, but if she had a plain Seaside Cotton Melt, I'd get that over this. But this is amazing if you like laundry or and or fresh scents. Okay, next is Hoodie Weather from Rose Girls. This came as a sample to me in my, I think it was my last RTS with her. So this is really good. This is like a bakery fall scent mixed with, I believe, her vanilla sandalwood. It's good. It's not that it's bad. It's not. It's good. It's just not one that I smell and I'm like, oh man, I need a lot of that. So was I happy to get the sample? Absolutely. Do I think I'll purchase it for myself? No. I did purchase one muffin of this in her pre-order that was a couple weeks ago. Um, so I will have a muffin of it. I'll appreciate it. I'll love it. But it's just not like 
drool worthy. Uh, but it was a good 7 out of 10. Okay, Britta's Creepy Treasures, y'all. I don't know if you've had the magic of Brita, Britta's Creepy Treasures yet, but her wax is amazing. Uh, this one's The Exorcist. Palo Santo, Patchouli, and Vanilla Bean Marshmallow. What is it with Palo Santo mixed with sweetness? Oh my gosh. And the patchouli in here does not make me sick. It doesn't give me a headache. I like when patchouli is really earthy versus like, because it's a plant. Um, I like when it's earthy versus like the more like acrid, screechy green version of patchouli. I like Britta's patchouli. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Um, this was an 8 out of 10 about from what I remember. I got some of the Exorcist in her pre-order uh, that's being sent out. Is that her? Yes, that's being sent out. I think I get it tomorrow. can't remember. Um, she did offer it in a loaf. I should have gotten it in a loaf because that is how good this is. I Patchouli, Palo Santo, and Vanilla Bean Marshmallow. You guys, this is magic. If you like earthy scents with a little bit of sweetness, get the Exorcist from Brita's. Okay, oh. Um, I just posted this on my Instagram today. Uh, this is Zape Lavender Soda, Fresh Lavender and Citrus Fizz. I don't even know how many clamshells I've been through of this, you guys. And I continue to buy it. Oh, my gosh. I have this in my bathroom right now. This is just the best lavender fizzy scent on the market. It's so strong. It's a 10 out of 10. I put one cube in my little bowl warmer in my bathroom, and it stays in there strong at least 24 hours. That's the longest I've melted it. I think I have like three more clams of this right now in my drawer and I've been through five. I don't know. Um, and I feel like I need to buy more. I also have a body scrub in this scent, which I love. This is just so invigorating because it has that element in here. The lavender, it says fresh lavender. To me, it is a herbal lavender, which I like. I like herbal lavenders better. And then the citrus fizz in here, it is fizzy pops, but it's definitely that citrusy fizzy pops. Oh my gosh, like if you need to be woken up and pepped up and let's go, Zapes Lavender Soda. Best, best, best. Okay, BCS. This is a sample. Uh, watermelon Fizzy Pops. Okay, let me just show you the empty thing here. So this is good. Um, there definitely, there's a Fizzy Pop in there. And like a Watermelon Jolly Rancher. I got this as a sample. Um, this was an 8 out of 10. It was really good for what it was. Very nice summer scent. Mmm. Hay scented melts frosted juniper. If you are a juniper lover, I am, you must try Kay's frosted juniper. This is my favorite juniper scent of all time. It literally smells like cold air and cold juniper. Oh my gosh. This is a nine to 10 out of 10. It's very strong. Uh, I love juniper breeze like Bath and Body Works do. This is very different. This is more coniferous. It's more woodsy, slightly more masculine. It's more outdoorsy. It's more rugged. And it's more like literally cold air versus like a cool breeze, clean juniper breeze. Um, more realistic, I'd say. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's so good. This could, I could melt this anytime, honestly, but this is all winter long. Like this could be into January and here in Utah, February, even cold air. Oh, so good. So, so good. Okay, Destination Wax Lavender Sweet Basil. This one is Lavender Sweet Basil with a bit of Eucalyptus, Cedar, and Sweet Patchouli. This is a lot of people's favorite of her lavenders. She has so many lavenders, Rebecca. Um, this is not my favorite. It smells really good, do not get me wrong, but do I smell it and think I wanna buy more? No. Um, if there was more Eucalyptus in it, I think I would like it. Um, it's just not, it doesn't quite hit the button for me, if that makes sense. But this was strong. Almost all of her lavender blends are like 10 out of 10. And this one was no exception. Uh, another Destination Wax Ivory Soap. I don't know how many times I'm going to melt through these and you guys are going to be sick of hearing about it. <sighs> I think I have some more of this coming in the mail today. So I want to get a loaf of her Ivory Soap. Someday I'm going to pull the trigger and do it. Her ivory soap absolutely smells like you are holding a piece of ivory soap. You could lather it in the shower and rub your body with it. It is the purest ivory soap. Destination Wax has the best ivory soap wax 
that I've ever smelled. And I've smelled probably four now, and I'm sure there's many more. So of the ones I've smelled so far, Destination Wax is the best. And this, you guys, I put the tiniest piece in my little bowl warmer in the bathroom. 10 out of 10, 24 hours. So good. So, so good. Okay, Midnight Daydream Halloween Town Library. Frosted Pumpkin Cupcakes, Local Library, and Marshmallow Fireside. Um, one of my friends on Instagram sent this to me in a wax trade. And it's so good. I was so glad that the, the local library scent or the library scent was the strongest in here. That's what I was really hoping for. And then next is the marshmallow fireside. And just in the background, I get that pumpkin cupcakes, which I'm really happy about. So this is, there is a sweetness to it, but it's, this is more earthy because of that library and marshmallow fireside. I would absolutely buy this one for myself. Really good. It was about a six out of 10. Um, so far, what I've melted from Midnight Daydream isn't super strong, which is okay. Some scents um, I don't want super strong because I'll get a headache from them. So I try to order certain vendors because of their wax formula, I order specific scents from. So I really, really love like heavy masculine scents, but they can often give me a headache. So Midnight Daydream would be a good uh, vendor for me to order heavy masculine scents from because then the way his wax is formulated, it wouldn't give me as much of a headache. Does that make sense? So like, uh, let's see who, well, VCS's new formula is really good, but like her older formula, um, like I would get really spicy fall scents from them or really sweet scents from her because they're not as strong because I enjoy those scents, but when they're too strong, I can't enjoy them. So does that make sense? Like get certain scents from certain vendors after you learn their wax types. Okay, Barrett's Waxcraft Blueberry Pumpkin Patch. This was a little um, shot cup that he put out of his fall scent. I am not a blueberry fan, but you guys, this is so good. Um, it almost smells like blueberry pancakes. Oh, it's so good. Blueberry pumpkins and spice, and I swear there's a touch of maple or something in there. This was really good. I'm really glad that I got it. I probably would get that in a, strong, in a stronger amount, larger amount. That was about a 7 out of 10. Okay, VCS Creep Show. I had this in one of her little film bars. A smashed spiced vanilla pumpkin cake topped with buttercream frosting and mellow cream pumpkins. This was so good. Uh, she said she was going to re-pour it at some point, I believe. This, you guys, smells just like a spiced pumpkin bread. Uh, not too much buttercream frosting in there, which I'm glad because buttercream frosting often gives me, like, makes me really nauseated. Um... I get a touch of that mellow cream pumpkin kind of scent, like the inside of a candy corn kind of a thing, but just barely. This smells like the best, like, spiced pumpkin cake or bread that you've ever had. This was so good. 7 out of 10. Would definitely buy that again. Uh, this is uh, Rose Girls Don't Kale My Vibe. This is from her Let's Go Camping sampler. So this was okay. It fit perfectly in what the sampler was supposed to be, so I don't want to knock that. Um, and it had her coastal kale in it, which I love. But it also had cannabis in it, and I just don't enjoy the scent of cannabis. To me, it's like a really sweet vegetal scent, and I don't like sweetness and vegetables to go together in my wax. Um, it's a scent that even in real life, I don't enjoy the smell of. Um, no offense. Do whatever you want to do. But I don't like the smell of it. Um, so this was not my favorite because of that. Was it strong? Yes, it was. Nine out of ten. Okay, here's a little um, wax from A Random Act of Kindness from one of my friends on Instagram. This was Rose Girl's Mermaid Zen. This one's really good. So I've never had this one myself. But to me, this smells like a really nice like hair mousse or hair gel or like you're getting ready for the day kind of scent. Uh, it was like a 8 or 9, probably an 8 out of 10. Really good. I might even grab that myself if it comes back out. Okay, another one from my friend on Instagram, Rose Girls Koopa Troopa Assault. This is from her Mario line. And this is just a very, I should have written down the notes, a very tropical fruit blend. Um, here I'm smelling like maybe her raspberry sauce, pineapple. Because her raspberry sauce is to die for. I'm not sure what else I smell, but it was very strong, um, very fruity, very juicy, very good. Oh, here I have one with 
nothing on it. My kids probably got to that. Okay, Destination Wax, Lavender Pink Chiffon. Another one of hers that I really enjoyed, but I just don't love Pink Chiffon. I'd rather, not that they're even similar, but I like Pink Sugar better than Pink Chiffon. Um, I like Pink Chiffon. It just smells like body care to me, and I don't want that mixed with lavender in a wax melt for my house, if that makes sense. But it is really good, and it was really strong once again. All of her lavender blends are crazy strong. Uh, Barrett's Wax Craft Flannel. Oh, man, I love flannel type from Bath & Body Works, you guys. This is one that in the candle, when it's burning, that candle blows the roof off my house. I enjoy the smell so much, but I get such a bad headache when I melt it. But Barrett's did something to it. Uh, flannel is just so good. This is what I'm talking about, masculine scents. So his Barrett's wax is very strong, but he did something to this one where I melted it and it was about a seven out of 10 and it was perfection. And I did not get a headache from it. Excuse me. I melted this in my room and you guys, if he was still doing his customs, I would get this in a loaf because this is like the coziest, sexiest masculine. Like I could melt this all year long in my room. Oh my gosh. So freaking good get Barrett's flannel okay another sample from VCS this is jack-o-lantern pumpkin zucchini bread and sugar cookie dough this was I believe her new formula this was really good um definitely got that pumpkin zucchini bread for some reason to me sugar cookie dough is not strong to me I even have it in um like solo wax melts and I just don't smell much from it it's like my nose is missing it. It's the same thing with like marshmallow fireside. I don't smell it by itself, but when it's mixed or blended with something, sometimes I can. It's kind of weird. I don't know, but this was really good. It was mostly just that pumpkin zucchini bread. Oh, it was so good. This was like a seven out of 10. Really just homey, yummy. Uh, this is a sample from L3. I'm not sure how to say this. Is it Kadai Melts? Kadi Melts? I have no idea what that stands for, but I looked it up and this was like, um, like a butter mint and uh cupcakes at tiffany's blend and this was really really good so on cold it was mostly just like a sweet mint but on warm i really got that cupcakes at tiffany so i put it in my bathrooms i thought it was just going to be a sweet mint and then i walk in and my bathroom smells like cupcakes <laughs> but i love me some mint cupcakes let me tell you so this smelled really good and this came in two just two little shapes and this like blew my bathroom out it was very strong um this is one that i might get again if it was available okay so this was rose girls down by the river this was from her let's go camping sampler once again man i freaking love the heck out of that sampler i don't know if this is the first year that she's done it but um she should definitely do it again like a couple times a year because so like hardly any other vendors do like earthy masculine more earthy sense and this sampler was so freaking bomb like I could buy it again. So this was like a uber fresh, slightly masculine, um, almost aquatic, soapy. She had this in the pre-order after this came out and I should have bought more because this is an all year round scent. It is a masculine aquatic, but there's a touch of earthiness in it too. It's like perfection. Why I didn't order more? I don't know because I have so much wax, but this is like a, a Danny scent to the T nine out of 10 freaking bomb destination wax coast of sicily i'm a broken record on this one you guys if you are a soap and or fresh lover this is heaven this is in the top five waxes of my entire life so coast of sicily is lavender and violets mingle with salty ocean breeze of the sicilian coast i don't smell this and automatically smell lavender. I don't at all. Um, or violets or salty ocean breeze. Like I don't smell any of those separately, but I put this to my nose and it is like, I'm in like an outdoor shower using a soap on the coast. Does that sound weird? That's what I want to do right now. Instead of being in my house stuck with COVID. Well, I don't have COVID, but you know what I mean? Oh my gosh. I have like three more, two more, maybe more of these cups coming. And I have like five of these cups in my drawer and I've been through seven of these cups. I don't know. I need to just buy a loaf, but for some, the destination loaves, I like getting shot cups from her, her loaves because her wax is so soft. 
the loaves end up getting like really messy and the stickers never stay on the loaf bag. So I might just keep getting tons of shot cups of it. I don't know. Okay. Uh, this is blended with love flannel type. As I just told you about my love for flannel. This was so good too. Something about blended with love. I will point it out every time I talk about her. You have to give her wax a longer time to put out uh, its scent. It has a higher melting point, but once it does, you're in for a freaking treat. Um, this was a six to seven out of 10. That flannel type, you guys, so good. Okay, that smell good shop, Jack Frost. Uh, menthol, eucalyptus, and vanilla. Mm, I will definitely get this again. Oh, oh, oh. You all know from my Instagram, I am a sucker for mint, menthol. Sorry, I keep seeing like something in my hallway. Um, I'm a sucker for like menthol -y, mint, eucalyptus -y scents, and this has that touch of vanilla. This is like cold, like breath on cold air with a sweetness to it. Oh, it's so, so good. Um, I need to get way more of this. I don't know why I haven't gotten it yet. Um, that was, I think like an eight out of 10, if I remember correctly. I kept putting it in my bathroom at night. It is like a dream. Okay. This was a sample from uh, my friend, Kristen. We did a wax swap. This is from South, South Mountain Strawberry Pound Cake. And I have a loaf of this. I actually posted it last night. How funny. Um, so South Mountain, did I say that? Salt Mountain. Hello. Salt Mountain has my favorite strawberry pound cake that I've ever smelled so far. It's very heavy on that strawberry. It's a very juicy, juicy strawberry. Oh, it's so good. Uh, eight out of 10 favorite strawberry pound cake would definitely get it. If I could get my hands on it. <laughs> uh, this is a sample from destination wax white. Sorry. This is pristine white roses and rich, dark patchouli. So destination wax, her patchouli is not my favorite kind of patchouli. Hers is definitely that essential oil patchouli. And rose is not my favorite scent, but this sample, like, I feel like I want a cup of this sitting around for in case I'm in the mood. This very much smells like perfumes in my childhood. I'm once again, a child of the eighties, um, patchouli and rose were quite the thing then. So it reminds me of my childhood and being like out at the mall or something like that, because this is a very eighties, early nineties smell. I might, even though it's not my type of scent at all, I might get just one cup of this to keep around. This was a 10 out of 10 blow yo roof off. Okay, this is vintage chic sugar spun suds, fresh laundry blended with sweet spun sugar and fluffy marshmallows. Really good. Um, so good. I think it's white clouds, um, the laundry in here. And then sweet sponge sugar, probably cotton candy and fluffy marshmallow. Um, I smell the sweetness on cold a lot more when it's on warm. It does smell much more like a laundry scent, which is good. This is a great scent. Um, it's not like of all the wax world, my favorite um, laundry at all, but it was good. I might get it again at some point, but I'm just not in love with it. But it's a really good scent. Okay, Britta's a sample, I believe. Creepy Treasures Cauldron Concoction. Count chocula, sugar cookie dough, sweet and creamy. I don't like chocolate and wax. I melted this simply because my kids wanted me to. This smells like a Tootsie Roll. Uh, I won't repurchase or I won't purchase this, um, but not because it's bad. It's because I don't like the scent. If you want to smell like a Tootsie Roll or want your house to smell like a Tootsie Roll, this is perfect. And it was about, it was like an eight out of 10. It was pretty strong. Okay, a sample from Pumpkin Seed Wax and Bath Co. Crisp Autumn Day. Uh, I posted this on my Instagram just this last week. Oh my gosh. Mm -mm -mm. So on cold, this smells a little bit like a craft store with like that, like a crisp fall air kind of a thing on warm. You guys. This is so good. Um, it, it was like an elevated sweater weather almost like a warmed up, smoothed out sweater weather that doesn't give me a headache because I love sweater weather, but it gives me a headache. Oh my gosh, I could freaking melt this all of fall. This smells like you're putting your hoodie on, the air outside is cold, 
You're going to a football game. I don't know, but this is freaking magic. Oh, you guys, if you are like a fall, like an absolute ultimate fall non-bakery lover and you're looking for a scent, you must order this from Pumpkin Seed Wax and Bath Co. Um, she is a newer vendor on Etsy and she is so sweet and her wax is bomb. So, yeah. Uh, Egyptian Musk from K's. This is also kind of reminds me of perfume kind of from my childhood. It's a very musky, almost sweet, powdery. Oh, but I love it. <laughs> I would definitely rebuy this. Oh, this would be so good in a blend. It's like that musk. Mm. I love the smell of musk. It wasn't super strong. It was like a six out of 10, but it was, it was definitely present, but it, you kind of have to move your head around to get the wafts of it. Oh, so good. Egyptian musk. I would, I would definitely get that again. Barrett's Waxcraft Brandy Pears. This is a sample. I melted a lot of samples this month. Ugh, this is like mulling spices and syrupy pear. This was another one that I melted and I was like, I should have gotten some more of that. Um, really good. I would definitely suggest that if you like the syrupy pear and like mulling spices. I swear we're almost done, guys. This is, oh, we're 31 minutes in. Okay, uh, that smell good shop, strawberry muffins and toasted malo zucchini. This is one of her little six packs of those little like cube square kind of things. And this was good. Um, for some reason, so her wax is really good, you guys. That smell good shop. I rave about her all the time. Um, this was good. There was some almost like, I think it was sitting with some other wax or something. It was almost kind of perfumey. Um, but the strawberry muffins, it's almost like a cornbread muffin. Really, really good. And Toasty Malo and her zucchini. I have that by itself, Toasty Malo zucchini, and it's so good. Um, so this was like a 7 out of 10. I don't think I'd buy it again because of that perfume undertone, but maybe it doesn't always smell like that. I don't know. Okay, another That Smell Good Shop, Bonfire Bliss, Best Damn Cinnamon, and Mac Apple. This was so good. Anything with Bonfire Bliss, like, let's be real. This was so good. And her Best Damn Cinnamon is really good. It's not, like red hot cinnamon but it's not quite the sweet bakery cinnamon but it does lean more that way of course i got mac apple the strongest i always do when mac apples in the blend um this was really good i would absolutely get this again this was like a nine or eight out of ten okay vintage chic barnum this was also a little sample sent to me in a wax trade i did with Kristen. so this i believe i looked it up um was an animal crackers blend and it smelled really good it wasn't very strong though. This was like a four or five out of 10. Um, this, I think uh, Kristen said this was her new formula. I'm not sure, but it smelled, it was like kind of a circus scent. It was very, very sweet bakery. I actually really enjoyed it. It's really good. Okay, so I have a little bit left in this one. This is um, from That Smell Good Shop. It's called Jack's Wild Berries Vanilla and Waffle Cone. There's just something in this one. I just cannot finish this bag. I don't know if I, I might just not like her wild berry oil. Um, because the waffle cone smells so real and the vanilla almost smells like vanilla ice cream that I'm wanting that berry to smell like a real berry. So it actually smells like vanilla ice cream in a waffle cone with berries. But the berry smells so fake. It smells like I, there's chapstick on the ice cream and I just can't finish that one, but it's strong. So Okay, Barrett's Waxcraft Sinus Soother. So I know everyone seems to have a memory of Vicks Vapo Rub when they were a kid. I grew up with mentholatum. Anyone else? Similar idea, similar thing. My grandma put mentholatum on everything, everything. And I kind of still do to this day <laughs> because of that. But it's such a comforting scent to me. I melt this in the bathroom at night sometimes because I don't know what it is, just that smell in the middle of the night with that scent to it. And this was easily a 10 out of 10. It was crazy strong. I was like walking down the hall and my nares were like clearing out. Um, really freaking good. I actually have a bag of his sinus soother. So um, L3 Waxy Wonders Riverbank. So this, I got one of her, uh, I call it Trig Tarts by itself too, to see what it smelled like on its own. Because I have a couple of things with it blended in. It's okay. I thought it was going to be more aquatic. Uh, it's more woodsy to me than anything. It's a, like a very dry driftwood scent to me. And it was good, but I would love it to be mixed with like Swedish Dream Salt or cool water or something that makes it actually more aquatic. 
um, than just that. Okay, last one. A sample from L3. This is bombshell uh, VC type. I think it's supposed to be VS type. Uh, blonde moment and boardwalk malo clouds. Yeah, this was really good in my bathroom. So I definitely got the all the parts in here. Uh, boardwalk malo clouds is the strongest, which is funny because that's not a very strong in blends. It's not a very strong oil. Um, but I definitely smell the blonde shell, blonde shell, blonde moment and bombshell. Uh, not one I'd buy. I'm not super into perfumey scents. Every once in a while, they're fun. Um, so this was real. This was good. I'm really glad I got a sample of this, but it's not my favorite. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed all my blabbing about my empties. I'm so excited to get to throw this stuff away and snart, snart, start a new bin. My gosh, I have not had enough coffee yet. Um, I have to go do my big family shop, grocery shop of a giant overfilled grocery cart that will last for two days. I'm going to go do that today while the kids are at school all by myself. Isn't that amazing? Uh, they have an extra day of school today because they missed their Monday because school didn't start till Tuesday. So I'm going to go do that. Um, you guys have a great day. Stay cool. I know it's still so hot um, in most of the United States. Also down south in the Gulf, Louisiana, you guys, I'm so sorry. Uh, I hope you're doing well and okay. Um, stay well, wear your masks, wash your hands, please. Um, and have a good one. I'll see you next week with some hauls. See you later.